I decided to apply to Stanford in the first place to improve my negotiating position with my current employers. And uh, I had no idea at the time what business school was going to be about. I don't think anybody does before they come. Um, you know, now at the end of two years, I know that uh, my mind has been changed. The way I think about the world has been changed. The belief I have in myself and the possibilities that I think are out there. And uh, there's no way you can really tell somebody that ahead of time. Stanford really stood out as a place that had a community, a place where people knew each other on a first name basis. They enjoyed hanging out with each other. Um, it also offered a lot more flexibility than some of the other schools. Flexibility in terms of being able to take the classes you want to um, really manage your own academic experience, get what you want out of the program. I came to Stanford because I felt that it was the place where I could really uh, design a curriculum and an experience based on my prior experience and my strengths and really flesh out the areas where I need to improve. And the small size, the coaching and mentoring from my leadership lab fellow all the way to my first year advisor and the relationships that I thought I could develop with the faculty which in fact came into fruition, I thought was really one of the main reasons why I chose Stanford. You know, Stanford sort of won the day when it came from my admit weekend. Uh, and it was, it was unlike any other school in that everyone I talked to from fellow admits to the admission people to uh, staff people here, which just seemed so concerned and so um, you know, passionate about you know, my development and what I was going to get out of the experience and, and then you know, what I could bring to Stanford Business School. And it just really struck me because it felt really personal. There was this ability, I think, to connect. And part of that is class size. And part of that, I think, is just you know, the people, the sort of people that are drawn to a Stanford Business School. It's very overwhelming coming to the GSB in the beginning. You're surrounded by people that have started businesses, people that are children of prominent politicians around the world, have just had amazing careers. And you walk in and you feel like, how do I fit in here? But at the end of the day, everybody is just your friend. So when you're in class, you're in your jeans, you're in your t-shirt, and everybody's discussing the same cases, and nobody, nobody downplays anybody else's experience, and they really want to get to know you as a person. I just felt it was important that I go to a school uh, with a strong mission, and I also uh, felt that the small size um, would be really sort of conducive to the way that I learn. My husband and I know that we want to stay in the Bay Area, and so one, the opportunity to stay in this wonderful environment, and then also just the chance to build a really strong professional network in the area where I know I'm going to live. Being here uh, creates this unique exposure to different cultures, but also to different backgrounds. Uh, people that come from very different companies and very different work and tasks in their life to what I did before, or what I ever heard that I thought that could be done. That's one side. The other side is uh, getting exposure to cases, uh, cases that study cases, and the, the managers of companies, the CEOs, and people from companies that come here. Also, professors' experience. Um, and being here at the Valley also gives you a great exposure to companies. I went to business school to start a social venture um, to fight extreme poverty in Africa. And I needed to go somewhere that valued social innovation and entrepreneurship because that was my only purpose for coming here. And Stanford just stood out way ab uh, ahead of its peers in those two categories. And one more thing in addition to that is that the loan forgiveness program. You know, I, I never could have come to the Stanford GSB if I didn't have uh, that guarantee that, that uh, my loans would be paid for because I'm gonna be working in the nonprofit sector, not making as much money. And I also come from a pretty humble background, so um, I, I didn't have the money to pay off the loans. But the loan forgiveness program allows me to get this high quality education and all these amazing resources and the network and the alumni uh, uh, network to enable me to carry out this venture. I didn't see so much opportunity for growth in my country, so I wanted to move to the U.S. and the best way to get into was, to, was through having an MBA from a top university and I think that from the beginning my first choice was Stanford GSV. I cannot overemphasize the value uh, of your peers here. And I think that's what really sets this place apart, uh, is just the openness and the willingness for people to teach one another and to learn. The weather is fantastic. <laughs> I've, I've, I went to that other school in Boston, and uh, yeah, I have to say I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy uh, being here right now. When I was applying to business schools, I heard a lot of alumni who would say this. They said, oh, I wish I could go back. 
And now that I'm here, I understand how someone could sit at their desk 20 years later as a CEO and say, I wish I could go back.